Tonight, we're getting more information about the large fight at Castleton Square Mall that happened last night. We first brought it to you as breaking news last night on RTV6 News at 11. Tonight, in an RTV6 exclusive, a witness shares his first-hand account of the chaos inside the mall. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet live in Castleton with the very latest. Ebony. Drew, we were here in the moments after the fights as police worked to gain control of the large crowd of teenagers outside. Now we're learning what happened moments before inside the mall. This is cell phone video captured by Dominic James of a fight inside Castleton Square Mall Saturday night. Everybody got the running, so... I ran somewhere safe and they just called my friend. James and his friends tell us they were in the food court when they heard a commotion and saw dozens of teenagers running. I saw mainly little kids, so, and they're just running out the door. And did they look scared on their face? Yeah, they look scared. They're just screaming and running outside. Off duty Marion County Sheriff's deputies were working security and, with the help of Indianapolis Metro Police officers, pushed the crowd outside. That's when authorities say smaller fights broke out near the AMC theater and shots were fired. It would be crazy if my little brother was out there and I heard a gunshot. Like, when I heard the gunshot, I was calling my friends to check them. Police say they've increased their presence inside the mall and in the surrounding area and will continue to do so for at least the next few days. Well, this is a problem that the Ten Point Coalition says must come to an end before it is way too late. The Reverend Charles Harrison tells us that his group reached out to Simon Malls, the owner of Castleton Square Mall, about preventing a scene like we saw last night. He says with many teens carrying guns, a big brawl can easily become deadly. These places now have become the hangouts uh, for some of the wrong kind of youth. Who are, who are there only to cause trouble, and we have to address this before someone gets killed. Harrison suggested that the mall stop allowing young teens inside after certain hours on weekends without an adult.